Hey everyone, sorry I've been away for so long. Basically what happened is my PhD supervisor asked me to write an essay without a title or a subject, um, so I kind of panicked a bit. And also I got really heavily into True Blood, um, so much so that I started watching it last Monday for the first time. I think by Tuesday or Wednesday I'd finished watching both series one and two online. Uh, then I ordered the box set, uh, bought the books, and started watching it again, and now uh, Kiwi's nickname is temporarily Suke, because um, I have a massive obsession with both Bill and uh, Eric. Eric more so. He's so saucy. He's so saucy. Um, but this... <laughs> I needed to make a review before I went to Nottingham because I didn't want to leave everyone kind of hanging, wondering if I'd abandoned YouTube. Um, no, I haven't. But I am filming in a different location today, so I may get a bit of camera wobble. Um, that's because my bedroom is like a sauna. It's roasting in the UK, and I feel like I might die if I sit in that bedroom any longer. And after this, I have to go finish writing my essay in that bedroom. <clears throat> So, so if you think my makeup looks a bit weird today, uh, my 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 eye my eyeshadow definitely looks darker on camera than it is in real life. It's actually just a very light silver, but uh, my blush looks um, rather special. That's because I am hot, <laughs> not because I've overdone it on the blush. So I'm just you know preempting those comments there. Um, but anyway, review on sheer matte, which was requested by a lot of you packaging is exactly the same as the Sheer Glow in that it's a screw top bottle. Now I read on the Makeup Alley forums from a NARS makeup artist that the reason it was in a screw top bottle is because they reformulated their foundations to include skincare benefits, whatever that means, just, oh, and uh, luminizers and things. <clears throat> so the whole point of having a screw top bottle is to shake it, mix it, and then you get the full benefit of the foundation. However, it doesn't it kind of falls flat with this foundation because it's so damn thick um, that not having a pump on that is detrimental. How are you going to get the last bits of product out? Um, I don't think they've really thought that through. So, yeah, the product is fairly difficult to get out of the bottle. Um, I was pretty surprised when I got it how thick it is, but uh, in terms of the actual foundation, it is uh, described as an oil-free uh, foundation. It contains skincare benefits and it's supposed to make your skin look more luminous. Um, it's a lot thicker than Sheer Glow, uh, so it's easier to use in the sense that when you put it on the back of your hand, as I do, put your brush in it, go like that. Um, it doesn't run all the way over the back of your hand, um, but the upshot of that is that the consistency is a lot heavier, a lot thicker, a lot cakey feeling on the skin. I don't personally find it very comfortable to wear this. So there have been a lot of comments about how easy this is to blend um, or how hard it is to blend. I don't find it particularly difficult to blend. I blend it much in the same way I blend other foundations and although it does take a bit more work I don't think it's very difficult. It's not like the hardest foundation I've ever had to blend into my skin certainly no more effort than many of my other foundations but <clears throat> the coverage is um oh and it doesn't streak just just to get that in there um i don't find that this streaks so when i've blended it in i find it's really really nice even finish which is very good but um it does even out your skin tone nicely it is a sheer to medium coverage so for those of you with uh, bad acne scars or marks or you know anything like that um, it's not gonna be your full coverage foundation at all it is marketed as sheer matte so I think the clue is pretty much in the name really but the finish of this is powdery matte um, it's not luminous like uh, Chanel's matte lumiere for example which has a little bit of a luminizer in it to give you a, a, a kind of luminous effect on your skin. This is just very very flat matte, which is fine. I don't mind a flat matte. I don't want to look like a mask. 
<laughs> however and this doesn't make you look like a mask but it is very kind of very strong matte for me um, but an important thing to notice is that the colour matches for this are slightly different to sh uh, the sheer glow in that this is a bit darker or seems to be my sheer glow definitely looks paler than this in the bottle so if you uh, I don't know you may you may have problems finding your perfect colour match because this I mean this I can make work for me and the, I assume for the majority of people <coughs> that the same is true that you can make the corresponding shade and sheer matte work for you so oops, sorry patio door is a uh, banging um, anyway it may it, I mean it should be easy to work to get your shade fine unless you've got like crazy skin tone or something but um this as i said this feels really heavy and cakey on the skin and the funny thing is that when i've applied it depending on how much i apply i apply, i've tried applying a little bit a lot just to see how the finish is no matter how much i apply after four hours i my skin feels greasy i have random splotches of foundation just appear and migrate all over my face and the rest of it's just gone up to the left in the night gone Nowhere, nowhere near my face, it, it, god knows where it goes, but after four hours, <clears throat> this just disappears, and I'd really like to know where it's going, um, maybe it's got some kind of gambling addiction that it's not telling me about, but, um, four hours, four hours worth of wear is not good enough for a 20, 30 pound foundation, really appalling, and I have the thing is, this is marketed for n normal to oily skin. For something to make me oilier with n no oil in it, and for it not even to stay on my skin, and my skin isn't even the oiliest of skins, I think that's pretty bad. Maybe it's just me, but an oil-free foundation which is supposed to be matte and supposed to stay on oily skin all day, which only lasts four hours, is just completely overrated and very very average I'm afraid. <clears throat> uh, in terms of who is it good for, I would say normal skin I guess. It's no, no good for my oily skin whatsoever. I have had nothing but negative experiences from this. Uh, I can't believe how disappointed I am. I'm still a bit sore to be honest. <clears throat> Sorry about my sore throat today. Um, the way that I apply this though is with my fingers. I find it the easiest way to apply it. It is very easy to spread with your fingers, <clears throat> despite the fact that it's very, very thick. I do like to apply it using my Sigma 197 as well. Um, but to be honest, I don't really even like to apply it, so... I, I, I don't even like to put this stuff on my face. So I, I don't know why I'm telling you why how I would apply it, but um, I like to use fingers. I think fingers work really well with this. So pros for this foundation: um, difficult. It doesn't oxidise on my skin, but then it doesn't even last on my skin long enough to oxidise. So um, hmm, I'm not sure if that's a pro. It's got an excellent colour range. Uh, NARS do have pretty much second to none, they are second to none on their colour range for foundation. I think they're absolutely brilliant. <coughs> and uh, it does reach one of its criteria that it's a matte finish, because it's definitely a matte finish on me. Uh, cons, poor staying power, doesn't control oil in the least. Uh, highlights dry areas, like I get dry areas just, just here between my eyebrows and it just clings to them like no other. And it actually make my, makes my pores look kind of, when, when it's starting to disappear on the 2-3 to three hour mark, it makes my pores look big and kind of greasy and sunken and mess. The worst thing is that it was so average. For a £30 foundation, it's absolutely not worth the price tag. If you want something which will go the extra mile, you need to get Sheer Glow rather than Sheer Matte. Sheer Glow is so much better than this. Um... I, I, there's nothing else I can really say apart from that <clears throat> but if you have any questions regarding either sheer glow, sheer mattes or this review or um, 
why my blush looks like a crazy person then uh, feel free to comment below uh, in the meanwhile I'll do some videos when I get back from Nottingham which I'm not looking forward to but uh, that's another story and yeah see you later and also, also thank you for subscribing